guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about NordPass. If you're like me and countless others I know, you probably have been using the same or similar usernames and passwords across dozens of sites. Now, doing this isn't the greatest idea, and storing the passwords in your web browser isn't exactly a great solution either. Now, it's not a secret that longer and more complex passwords are better for keeping accounts safe online, but let's be honest. For me, the longer a password is, the less chance I have of remembering it again. But there is an alternative. That's where NordPass can come in handy. So NordPass, or any password manager for that matter, can keep your information safe, update passwords, and remember them for you. It also protects other sensitive information like bank card details, tax numbers, identity numbers, product activation codes, and all the stuff you want to remember but don't want anyone else to know. So in this review of NordPass, I'm going to explain what works, what could be better, how much it costs, and what features may or may not be the best for your situation. But the bottom line is that everyone needs a secure password manager, but choosing the right one is what I hope to try and help you with today. And although I'm going to be talking about NordPass today, I'm in no way sponsored by them. And everything in this video is based on my own personal experience after using their product. Now, if you do want to try NordPass out for yourself, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. By using it, you'll get a bit of a discount that you wouldn't find if you go directly to their website. So that being said, Let's get into it. So NordPass was developed by the same people behind NordVPN and launched in 2019 as a user-friendly and secure password manager. And besides generating and saving extra secure passwords for site logins, you can also use NordPass to store and access your credit card details, personal notes, and any other information that you want to keep secured, stored in the cloud, and protected by advanced encryption algorithms. So it's a desktop app, a browser extension, a website, and a mobile app that you can use on most, if not all devices, both off and online, to keep your passwords and important information safe and at your fingertips in an encrypted vault. And they will inform you if your data has been breached and automatically change any of affected passwords for you. So instead of relying on sticky notes or something like that to keep track of all your login credentials, all you need to remember is one strong master password. So with the basics out of the way, let's dive into their pricing, plans, and what features you get across the available options. So like other password managers, NordPass offers a lifetime free version that is a limited version of their paid plans. You don't need a credit card to use the free version and you get basic functions like unlimited passwords, keys and credit cards, auto save and auto fill, and the ability to import passwords from other password management tools. And handy features in the free version include a bunch of different ways to do two or multi-factor authentication, form filling, password generation, and the ability to switch between devices and still access your vault. Although on the free version, you can't stay logged in or use it on different devices at the same time. And most people opt for a premium plan for one user or a premium family plan for up to six users. You have the option of a one year or two year subscription. And because I don't want to confuse you, I'll stick to the one year option for all the plans. Although you can obviously save more if you take the two year option. So basically, you pay $28 per year for a premium subscription for one user and $44 per year for the yearly family plan. And that boils down to $1.90 per month for an individual and $3.70 per month for the family plan with up to six users. And for this, you get all the features in the free plan, plus the ability to securely share passwords if you want to with the option to give out your access to your credentials to someone else if you ever need to. And the app will scan all your login credentials to detect any weak or repeated passwords and help you upgrade them by generating a strong password and storing it for you. So the next time you need to log in, NordPass can log you in without you having to type in a single letter. Also, all premium plans include a comprehensive web scan for data breaches, and you can stay logged in when you switch devices or use them at the same time. You can also upload files into your vault. So I use mine to keep all my certificates, banking and tax details, software activation codes, and anything else like that in one safe, fully encrypted place. And I just want to say that again, if you want to use NordPass and save a bit more money, like I said earlier, you can take advantage of the discounted link that I left in the description down below. 
So the plan I went for, because my family shares accounts for things like wireless internet and entertainment streaming, was the premium family plan, which keeps even my youngest kids safe from having their Facebook, TikTok, or whatever hacked. It's only a couple of bucks a month, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. And I even ended up adding my parents to my plan because they come from another era. And when I heard that they use a variation of the same password for everything, I had to step in. So NordPass business plans start at a bit under $2 a month per user for up to 10 users. And you can test them out with a 14-day free trial that doesn't even require a credit card. Their business plans are big on password health and hygiene, with an admin panel that reports on password health and scans for data breaches all the time. You can set password policies and enforce multi-factor authentication throughout your company. And there are shared folders for teamwork and secure ways to share credentials among team members. Obviously, the most important feature for any password manager is security, because they are, of course, a prime target for hackers. In fact, a lot of other password vaults like LastPass, 1Pass, Password, Norton, and Dashlane have all been breached in various ways. LastPass has had numerous breaches, with attackers targeting the home computer of a developer in one instance, and others have been tricked into revealing passwords and third-party security tests. But so far, NordPass has never been breached. They offer standard security features like their data breach scanner, an actionable password health report, like I mentioned, as well as support for hardware key-based authentication. So basically, all your passwords, pass keys, credit cards, secure notes, and other stuff is stored in the cloud in an encrypted form, which means that if you end up losing a device, you can still access all your passwords. And when it comes to breaches and security, the good news is that NordPass scores around 4.5 across Trustpilot, Google Play, and the Apple Store, which is reassuring. The even better news is that, so far, it doesn't appear on the list of password managers that have been breached, either by hackers or independent tests. And it passed an independent security audit by Cure53, a third-party auditor, which, after I researched it, really helped me make my decision to go with NordPass as my vault manager. But how does NordPass compare to the competition? Well, like I said, there are less restrictive free plans out there. But NordPass really does great in terms of security. So let me just quickly give you an idea of how NordPass compares to its closest competitor, RoboForm. On a personal note, I have used both, and RoboForm is also great, and I have no hesitation in recommending them as well as NordPass, which I think wins in terms of security, privacy, and customer service in case you forget your password or something. RoboForm and NordPass are more or less equal when it comes to usability and pricing, but I do prefer RoboForm's interface in terms of look and feel. But for me, what puts RoboForm on par with NordPass are some unique features you won't find elsewhere, like being able to manage browser bookmarks and Windows logins. And they allow you to restore your master password. Like I said, it's a very personal choice, and overall, both of them are solid choices that won't let you down. The bottom line is that the purpose of a password manager is securing your passwords, and NordPass is ahead of all the competition on this front. In terms of NordPass's interface, I like the clean gray and white interface and how easy it was to set up. You can quickly log into websites on unlimited devices, and I was impressed with how simple it was to port my passwords from my browser and the manager app that I used before. I also liked how NordPass fills in forms and credit card information for me. Using advanced functions can get a bit complicated, but overall, it could be simpler. And I did experience some problems with the desktop app freezing a couple times. Now, I just had to exit out and open it again, and it was fine, but still something to note. So in the end, the biggest sell for me was that NordPass has never been hacked. And I like that their end-to-end -end encryption means that even if they were, their zero-knowledge infrastructure is basically technical jargon that means employees can never see your master password or any of your data. Their scans found some of my accounts had been compromised and secured them for me. And something I hadn't considered before, they routinely clean sensitive information from your clipboard, which is a nifty little bonus. And that about sums up my experience with NordPass. Now that I have a password manager, I'll never go back to my old habits. NordPass is a solid choice and one of the better and most secure options on the market. You get the best of both worlds with convenience and a lot of security for just a few bucks a month. There are a few options that might also work for you depending on your needs, but I can say with confidence that you can't go wrong with NordPass. And that's a wrap for today's video. 
I really hope you found this review helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more honest reviews like this one. And like I already mentioned, if you want to try NordPass and get a discount that isn't offered on their website, just click on the affiliate link in the description below. And as always, I love hearing from you guys. So go ahead and leave your questions or comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.